we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Hey y'all, this is Joyce from This Is That Creations where I inspire you to be original in all you do and just be you. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. If you enjoy upcycling, trash or treasure, thrift flips, please like and subscribe to my channel. Today, I once again, I'm joining the Thrift Flip Thursday with Shana Robinson Repurposing and Savvy Crafts with Savannah. Please make sure to check out their channel and also check out that playlist link down below with all those amazing DIYers. And also, don't forget, hit me up on my socials. Now let's get crafting. Welcome everybody to DIY number one. So I got this beauty from the thrift store for $2.50. Yes, $2.50. Yes, I know it's vintage, probably from the 70s. Cute little cookie jar. Some people are going to get mad that I'm painting it, but I'm going to anyway. So I'm using Rust-Oleum Flat White. I'm going to give it a good coat. Then we're going to head up to my craft room. We're going to use Andirondack Clear Wax and Dixie Belle Evergreen. We're going to mix these two pieces together. You're going to use as much or as little as you want. I'm just kind of going with it like I usually do. It looks super bright in the camera, but it's not that bright. You want to mix it up well. I'm using the wax as a sealer and also the ability to wipe it off. I'm using a stencil brush to go right into the, you know, little cookie crevice, whatever you call it, parts. Just picking the areas I want it, going heavier in some spots and lighter in others. Take a little paper towel and wipe it off. So pretty. I'm taking a smaller brush now and I'm going around the edges. I'm going to try to show you a little bit. Do you see? <laughs> Look how cute. Oh, beautiful. Now this piece did give me a little bit of a challenge. I'll explain later, keep watching. So we're gonna do the same process to the lid. I'm leaving some spots white and then I'm going around and using the green and wax mixture around the decal, you know, the little flowers and leaves. Now I was using a shirt that I just cut up that I was gonna get rid of. I decided I didn't like that. It seemed like it left a little blue marks on some places. So be careful the cloth to use. How cute. It's hard to see, but it's cute. So this is repetitive, but we're going to do it again to the bottom. Look how pretty that looks. I, sorry, I said that again, but it looks so good. And this girl should have left it like this, maybe. You tell me in the comments down below at the end. So I'm going to get the spout. Has some really pretty flower decals, details, details, people. <laughs> Good heavens. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. And of course, as you can see, we're going to get the handle as well. Just showing one side that I do. I do both sides, of course. But you don't need to see the whole process. You get it. Look how cute. Now I did, didn't show on film. I painted the top edge as well. I don't know where the footage went for that, but there it is. You can see it done. Now I'm gonna use my little heat tool. My little friend helps this crafter out. Now I got my Waverly Antique Wax, and this is where I wish I wouldn't have done what I did, because look how pretty that looks. I do fix it in the end, but we only need a little bit. Look, little bit. And there it is. And now it looks like a hot mix mess, but it will look better. I should have just put the antique wax only on the green spots, not the white. Because it looks really pretty, just white and the green. But I didn't, so here we go. Sometimes you got to fix it. You just need very little of the antique wax. See, look at me making a hot mess. Oh, just let me know down in the comments be below if you've done that and then you end up fixing it. So it looks a lot better, but you'd think it would have looked better how you originally had it. This is what this girl did. 
it's kind of nice to show you. So I take a baby wipe and I'm like, mm -mm, we got to get some of this off. So I'm just wiping around to blend it in a little better. So now it looks like a dirty yellow. Actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, kind of it does. You're like, what? You're showing this craft? What are you doing, girl? Okay, now I'm going to just grab my Dixie Belle white wax. And I'm like, we're just going at it. We're going to fix this piece because I love this piece. So you can start seeing the transformation right away. So I'm just going to cover this baby with white wax. It's going to help me fix this. And it actually turns out super cute. I do like it. I'm like, more white wax? Will you help me, white wax? Fix this, please. <laughs> I'm taking wipe it off. Just a little bit. So it does help it. And when you see the picture, it turns out super cute. I, I do really like it, but I think I would have left it if I saw now. <laughs> knew now what I knew then. Wait, knew then what I know now. <laughs> I would have left it white in the evergreen. So I'm fixing this lid too. I'm like, mm-mm. It's really hard, especially when you're editing the video and you're looking at it and you're like, I really liked it, just that green and white. But look, it does turn out, look, I give a thumbs up. I fixed it, super cute. You'll see the picture. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. All right, thrift flip DIY number two. Okay, so I have this magazine rack I got at the thrift store for $4.99. Loved it right away. Needed to give it a little bit of a sanding on the edges. It was a little rough in some areas. So that's what we're doing on this beautiful day outside with my little Orbit sander. I'm using, again, Rust-Oleum flat white paint. Go oh, try to say that again. We're going to go ahead and give it a good two coats. Then voila! So I taped around the little um, area. What do you call that stuff? But you see what I did. Now we're going to go ahead and use our Dixie Belle Lemonade. I've been dying to use this. Looks brighter on camera than it is. So we're going to go ahead and paint this piece. And I won't show the whole process. Just me getting started. And that white almost looked gray. So we did two coats of this, inside, outside. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's well worth it at the end. I just love this piece, actually. And I know I didn't go white, the normal white or the brown, natural wood. I thought I'd just try something different. So you'll have to let me know how you like it down below. Leave me a comment, thumbs up, subscribe, join me on my journey. Yep, there I am with the paintbrush in my mouth again. Now I'm just going to touch up some areas that bled through a little bit, but not much bleed through. And I left that piece white. I got a little brush just to go around the edges, maybe where it was needed a little touch up. Not a lot. It turned out pretty good. Look, see how cute. Now I'm gonna grab my little nail file that I love from the Dollar Tree. These are so handy. And I'm just gonna decide where I want to distress. Some spots I distress more, some less, some just where the white comes through. You just be you and get creative and do what you like. And more sanding. Look how cute it is already. Hey, look at that. I did not really do much on the sides. I sanded a little bit of those knobs on the ends, but that's about it. I just love this piece. I'm gonna wipe off all the dust. Now I got these redesigned transfers from my local store, and they are the small pack, and I love it because it was only like $13, but you can use it for tons of project or one big one. Look how cute they are, and I love the birds. So I'm just gonna cut out the pieces that I want. 
to use on this one and then I'll save the rest. And the transfers are so easy. It's the first time I've really used it on furniture, even though it's a small furniture. The first time I've used it on that and I am in love with them. I have some sunflowers I'm gonna be using soon. I'm just showing you a little bird I cut out and how easy it is. You're gonna find your spot you want and you can even fold it over. It goes on super easy. Now the smaller pack didn't come with a little tool so I'm just using my Cricut tool. It works. You can use a credit card, you know, maybe a popsicle stick if it's a thicker kind. You just want to wait until it shows it's kind of clear. And if you start pulling it up slowly and there's a piece, if you lay it down quickly and you can rub it back on, and it'll come, you know what I mean. I'm just showing you. The hardest part is finding your layout where you want things. I'm telling you, that's the hardest part. Just picked another little flower, uh, not flower, excuse me, leaves to go down the bottom. You can see this, but you know. Then they have these like branches I absolutely just love. I put them across the top of the handle because I thought it fit perfectly there. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Caught by us crazy, but things are finally right. The birds are so cute. There's so many cute pieces on this. I'm so glad I have some left over. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you've used these transfers and if you liked them. See, look how cute. Look how many I have left. I'm so excited to use them. I do need to find a bigger piece though to try it out. This turned out so cute. Yes, I know I chose to do a different color than normal, but hey, I wanted to go with it. I'm going to go out and I'm going to spray it with my Rust-Oleum clear coat. And there you have it. So cute. Said that again, but it is. Let me know if you like the yellow. I love the yellow. Or what color would you have done? And remember, subscribe and join me on my journey. Have a good day. And be original in all you do. And just be you. We know.